Hey there, are you tired of watching the same crappy show over and over again? What is this shit? Are you tired of the woke bullshit of today? And are you tired of overpriced video games that don't work day one with overpriced DLC? <laughs> If this all sounds right, then the Ninjang Show is right for you. All you have to do is come and subscribe, and make sure to listen to the podcast. I'll desire all your needs. <laughs> Ninjang, no bullshit, straight up content, the content that's right for you. What's going on, Jets? I hope you're all having a great day. Um, this Welcome to episode two um, of Ninjang's podcast. I am your host, Ninjang, and today we're going to be talking about the new Amazon fan fiction, Lord of the Rings. To be honest, I am not happy. I, I just hate this show. I, I, it's not even out, and I already hate it. You know, it seems like today we can't have anything nice. It seems like everything... A lot of us grew up with 2000s teens or maybe later generations. We're just watching a slow decline in some of the greatest franchises being butchered for the sake of being fucking woke. I'm so sick of this shit, man. I am almost done with everything. I'm actually almost done with movies. I mean, it's like, why continue? Why continue supporting big companies if they're going to continue making garbage? Yeah, I mean, this just, I don't know even how to. You know, I don't even know what to say anymore, guys. I watched The Matrix Resurrections fail. I watched the new Terminators, at least the last two, uh, Doom, Fate, and Genocide fail. Okay, I seen Ghostbusters 2016 fail. That was a pretty much a gimme, and everyone saw that one coming. Okay, what else? Star Wars is divided. Has been is now the more divided than it's ever been. You got you know them versus us. You know, and it used to be a point where Star Wars was supposed to bring us together. Okay, if my dad saw the new Star Wars today, I think he would lose his shit. Okay. Now, when it comes to The Lord of the Rings, as the early 2000s teen, I grew up watching these movies as a kid. I actually watched all three in the theaters with my dad. And they were incredible films. And when they came out on DVD and Blu-ray, we got the extended editions on Blu-ray, by the way. Um, it was just enhanced the experience of the wonderful world of Middle Earth. Okay, Tolkien's work is just great. Peter Jackson's directing of the, the all the original trilogy was great. The Hobbit was, uh, you know, it was not bad. It was not great either, but it's definitely I would rather watch The Hobbit o- uh, over the Amazon fan fiction Lord of the Rings or whatever you want to call it. The new Amazon Lord of the Rings has so many problems going towards it, man. Um, first off, continuity does not match the source material. Uh, they, they decided, no, we're not going to take Token's work. We're just going to make our own make-believe bullshit. Okay? Look, doors are supposed to have beards. I'm not going to, like, debate that. I mean, anyone who watched, um, what do you call it, The Hobbit knows that they, they saw female dwarves with beards. I mean, why do you have to, like, change that? That's a practically give me. <laughs> well, no, we can't do that because that would be sexist. All right, well, then don't make Lord of the Rings, okay? The continuity seems bad. Um, there's There was not much shown, but I've seen enough to a point where I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Okay, there's just too many red flags. Um, and Amazon, another thing too, is that Amazon did a, like, I guess, interview with the cast members, and that was a terrible a terrible video. They had to take it down because of practically the people behind the Lord of the Rings aren't real fans. They're just people just trying to, you know, you know, you know, feed off the brand and trying to push their own fucking woke bullshit on there. Okay. The Lord of the Rings, man, is being right now being made by people who don't give a shit. There's not much to say other than the fact that people do not like what they fucking see. Okay. Just like the Halo Paramount TV show, uh, I don't like it. A lot of people don't like it. The only the people who do seem to be honestly smoking spice, okay? Because I can tell you, any real uh, Halo fan is not going to watch that shit. 
just like the this new Lord of the Rings Amazon TV show. No one's gonna watch this shit. If you do, you're a fool. You know, you're an idiot. I mean, you know, you're not a real Lord of the Rings fan if you're, you know, going out here and watching this garbage that doesn't even follow Tolkien's work. Lord of the Rings does not belong to Amazon. It belongs to the man who created that world. Okay? And, and like anything, you got to show the source material respect. Okay? Look at Disney. Okay? They fucked up Star Wars. Yeah, the Mandalorian is great, but, you know, it's st- Star Wars is still kind of in this state of being tainted by you know, bullshit, people who don't give a fuck, okay, and even when George Lucas said, please respect my source material, they went behind him and just made their own fucking make-believe shit, the same thing that they're doing with Lord of the Rings, the Ring of Powers, I think that's what they're calling it now, I don't know if they're calling it Middle Earth, but uh, either way, I don't give a shit, this show needs to be cancelled, no one's gonna watch this shit, too many red flags, too many people that are hating on it and for right for good reason okay i wouldn't watch this shit i grew up with lord of the rings and i know what a good lord of the rings show is i read the books in high school i even have the sword of narzo on my wall and the witch king sword on my wall i even have some of the original figurines from the early 2000s of lord of the rings so i, I am a fan but i am not a fan of this shit and anyone in the right mind who has some form of love for this series, uh, you won't support this show, man. This, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take for Hollywood to get it. Maybe they just need to lose more money for them to start, you know, thinking. In other words, guys, I hope you're having a great day. That's all I have to say about this podcast. Short one, but still, you know, this show needs to fail and be canceled.